Hello everybody, welcome to art class. Now today we've got kind of a special different kind of art day. We're going to be looking at this online art gallery that we made together. Okay. Now I would highly encourage you to still draw today. So if you want to get out some paper, you can even draw while we are doing this lesson. Okay. So you just go ahead and draw. And what we're going to do, we're going to look at some artworks that people sent me from all different grades, and you're going to get some inspiration. Let's talk about that word, inspiration. Inspiration is an important thing for making art. It's like when you're sitting there and you don't know what to draw, you don't have any ideas, it's because you need some inspiration. When you see something cool and you go, whoa, I wonder if I could make something like that, or it gives you a different idea, that's inspiration. Okay, so I'm hoping that you can see these artworks, get some inspiration, and make something of your own. So you could take some ideas from here, change them around a little bit, make them your own. Okay, Even if it's something that's an art project that's from a different grade, you still get some ideas. So get out your paper and pencil. You can be drawing while you watch this, but you know it's a different kind of art day where we're looking at art and celebrating some of the artists who wanted to share their art. So let's check it out. Wow, look at that one. This is cool. It looks like we have a flower type pattern. A pattern is when we have repeating shape over and over. And a pattern of leaves. So much detail. Looks like this artist did pencil first and then colored it. Very, very nice. Wow, look at those patterns. See, once again, students using patterns. You have shapes happening over and over. This is a project that some of us did where we drew our face and we made our hair real wacky and crazy. Nice job. Oh, and look at those. I think in second grade we drew some lines that had different emotions and feelings to them and then filled those in with patterns. So in the beginning a lot of the artwork has to do with patterns. Cool pictures. And I think this person even, the student made this one and then the parent made this one so they made some art together. Isn't that special? Wow, look at that face. They're all so different. You can give people the same assignment and they come up with completely different ideas. That's really cool. I love the colors and the facial expression. And some cute little cars. We had a lot of our kindergartners make different cars out of shapes. Even if you're not in kindergarten, even if you're a fifth grader, try making some cars. You know, start out with some weird shapes and make cars. I love this little car has a face on the front. This one looks like a duck car. Really cool creative ideas. And a cute little heart car. It's just adorable. Look at that. Look at the hair and the patterns going all the way up to the top. Very cool. And such a funny little face. Love the teeth sticking out of the mouth. Whoa, look at this guy. Crazy hair. It looks almost like tools coming out of his hair or something. It looks like a snake coming through. That's a real wacky drawing. I love it. Love making wacky art. Oh, yeah. Look at all the beautiful lines. We can see different lines going through. And then this artist used their creativity to... We put a little house up here and lots of little pictures. What an awesome picture that is. And some more cars from the kindergartners. I love it. I love everyone's different way of doing things. So cute. Oh, and look at these people. We have a little heart person. I think we were using some shapes and just playing with different shapes. That's really, really nice. And some more of these emotion lines. You, it, I, you can see once again how everyone does it differently. Different colored lines. Very cool. And some cars. I like these really tall cars on this one. Really neat. And look at all those cars. They look like they're in a little traffic jam. And they have cute little shapes. And this one's a rainbow car with like little cloud wheels. It's so wonderful. Nice job. My mom's car and my dad's car, I think it says. We have some character design. So I think our fourth graders did some character designs where they made up their own characters. And the killer bee, penguin man, evil ruler, friendly tadpole, taco cat, and zombie fish who want friends. So those are some really funny, awesome ideas. Really nice, careful drawings of cool, unique character designs. And look at these little guys. I think we were making people out of shape so you could see someone experimenting with shapes and making different animals and pictures and people in kindergarten. Very cool. I think I skipped. Oh, and some cars. Some neat little roads with the cars all lined up. Very nice one. And this, I believe, was a guitar factory. Very cool. 
Ibanez guitars. I can tell it's a factory because it has smokestacks coming out. I can tell they make guitars because it has the guitar. Uh, this is a guitar company right on there. So we were designing a building. It's a really interesting how they use so many shapes to make these buildings, and they put things in there that show us what the building is for. Excellent job. Look at these little characters. They're so nice. I like this one with the ears and his little mouth. At the top of his head's green and the bottom's white. That's a really cool design. Really nice characters. Oh, and look at these little monsters. Yeah, we were doing monsters with textures. So this is a furry monster. This is a scaly monster. Really cool ideas. And there's a nice house. They took the idea of a house with a pointy top, but they made some different shapes for the body of the house. That's great. We love when people are creative with how they draw a house. Very nice. Some really cool characters on this one. I can't read the names, but I can definitely see a Muffin Man. And it looks like they took a pillow character on this side and they developed it into lots of different things and showed different things that the pillow character does. So this is taking a character that you made and developing it a little further. Really well done. And look at this little scene. <laughs> looks like a tree character who's standing out at sea. This is a whole story. And here's our little Muffin Man and the tennis ball. So I can see now this is by that same artist. So it's some of these same characters from the beginning. They put them into a little story here. Really cool. And we started drawing hearts. Sorry, this one's a little sideways. Some of the kindergartners, I had them draw hearts in different ways. So you draw a bunch of hearts, try to make each one different. It's a good exercise to try to draw something different, different, different. Really nice work. And there's some more hearts. Beautiful, lovely patterns. A heart full of hearts. Some silly face hearts, a little cloud heart, really cool. This is definitely one you could try out. And oh, we did see this one already. Oh, I love that little character. That's cute. Yeah, that's really nice. Good job. Looks so happy. And this looks like a house that, if I'm thinking about the purpose of this one, it's a house for a dog, I'd say. It's in the shape of a bone. I can see the water and the food. Really nice. I can see the tennis balls outside. Totally shows me what this building is for. Very creative and well done. Oh, look at this. This is some really cool stuff. Very fantasy-like. We have dragons and all kinds of things. Very imaginative. Really cool style of making that building. Oh, and look at this one. The music place. And there's a house. And this is the tower. Very cool. I like how there's three different buildings. And they look, they look so different. Each one is way different. Awesome job. Oh, and this is this picture from before. There was the sketch, and then they developed it a little further by outlining it with a marker and coloring some things. Nice job. Candy, candy, candy. I wonder what this place is all about. <laughs> Looks like they go up the stairs here, and they can get some candy. There's a little candy dispenser down here and a locked door. Oh, I wonder what they keep in there. Cool candy place. That's a cool design for a house. It's simple, but it's beautiful. Really cool shapes and lines of things going on there. And I like that there's a little deck like with a balcony and stairs. And then some leaf pressings. Awesome. Some of us went outside to get leaves, and you put them under the paper. You can rub a crayon or colored pencil over the top, and you get this kind of really interesting artwork that shows the veins and arms of the leaves. Oh, those are so nice. Looks like some little shaped people. I like this one's kind of long neck. It was a really cool looking character. Good job. Oh, maybe these are color monsters. Okay, yes, we were making we were making color monsters that show your feelings and your emotions, right? So like if you feel sad, maybe you'd be a blue color monster who looks sad. So we were coming up with different monsters to show how we feel. Ooh, I believe this is a fantasy landscape. So we made some landscape pictures that were all kind of imaginative. So I can see some made-up creatures and some weird alien kind of people maybe walking around. And it looks like they were having a lot of fun. There's aliens and all kinds of cool stuff going on here. I love it. We even see a big tree here down here. And then as we get to the horizon line, that's this line here, the trees get smaller. It looks like they're farther away. So you could really learn a lot from looking at this. Even the road gets smaller as it goes farther away. Very cool. Very well done. Thanks for sharing that so everyone can learn from it. And nice socks, too. <laughs> um, so here is, I wonder what that one is. We can tell what that is because it's so well done. It's an ice cream shop. It says ice cream shop, but it also looks like a big ice cream cone. What a great selling point if you're driving by. 
you would know that was an ice cream shop. So that's a really good design for your building. It looks like we have some shapes, some heart shapes, and maybe a color monster here. Very cool. Good job on that one. And then here, oh yes, all the different hearts. Back to the heart assignment. I like this one. It's like a lot of squares. It almost reminds you of Minecraft. And then it has an eye, so it makes me think maybe it's like a little creature. So that's a really interesting heart. So this is, this is like 20 different ways you could draw a heart, way to use your creativity. And then some of us who made story, or so, who made characters, we made them into stories. That's what this is here. The T-Rex King. This looks like a, little, a whole comic book here. Um, so that's cool. If you make a character you really like, you can fold some papers in half and make a little comic book. Easy to do right at home. Oh, look at that color monster. That's cool. He, he looks angry. I can see his eyebrows are pointing down. Because we all feel angry sometimes, don't we? He's kind of mixed up inside. And he's got kind of lines coming out of him. So that's really good job expressing some feelings through your artwork. I love that. It's a really nice job. Um, look at that. When I ask people to go outside and make some art with nature, somebody brought some leaves inside and made a little owl by gluing them onto the paper. What an awesome creative idea. I didn't even come up with that one. Somebody at home came up with that, and that's beautiful. I love it. Way to use your creativity with nature. And look at this guy. That is so cool. I think that's a color monster, but I'm not sure when that one was handed in to me, so it could be something different. But it's a really cool, interesting-looking character there. I love it. Um, ooh, some ruler people. Yeah, so you could use like your the things you have laying around your desk and come up with if they're characters and make stories about them. Here they made what they look like happy, surprised, and sad. So you make a character you like, and you can come up with you know different ways to show. Um, their emotions and their feelings. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Nice colors there. Lots of feeling and emotion in that one. It looks like an excited color monster to me. I might be wrong, but that's what I see. Sometimes we all see different things in the art. Oh, and here we have some different kind of lines. We have a magical line, and a calm line, and a sad line, and an excited line. So we're learning how to use emotions to guide our art, because art can have a lot of feeling and a lot of emotion. Very cool. Oh, it's a cat. And the cat's saying, I can't do it. But then they have a little person down there that's like, yes, like, come on, you could do it. You got this. Nice picture. And, oh, I think this is a story. Okay, so we open it. Looks like this opens up and we have a story going on. Somebody, I think they're encouraging the cat. And there's a bird and a tree and human and some grass. Very cool. So... Um, that's all I have for now. If you sent me stuff since then, it will be in here eventually. But as you can see, we got lots of empty rooms in the art gallery, so feel free to send some art my way, okay? Um, and if you want to see the art gallery, it's on the Riverside Distance Learning page, okay? So you can go to Fall 2020 and then Distance Learning Specials in Art. I know that's a lot but that's how you get to it. I will also put the link to this in the description of this YouTube video. All right, so if you go to this video on YouTube, you can find this gallery in the description. All right, so keep on making art. Send some stuff my way. And remember, we didn't have like a direct lesson today, but I still would like you to make something. Maybe get some ideas from something you saw here or do something totally different. Consider it kind of a more free day, but I want you to make something, all right? Well, take care, everybody. I hope you have an awesome week. I love you all. I miss you. Just stay strong and make some cool art. Love yourself. Love your art. And just, you know, be the light. Be the light in the world, okay? All right. Take care, everybody.